Live from the 904 in the gateway to Florida, it's time for Simulation Football League action on a Friday night in prime time. Second down and two after the nice gain on first. Flip back single receiver. Linebackers crowd the line. It's going to be floated to the far uh -oh. side and intercepted. And this one's going to go back for six on the second play of the game. Jacksonville is on the board first. You have to, especially this early in the game. Eye formation. Handoff McBride right through the middle. And she is tackled after a gain of eight. Former Tallahassee Pride player for 10th all time. Ace Fedek with a monster day is 377 yards away from 18,000 as there goes McBride again to the outside and one man to beat four wide two tight ends only a four-man rush Fennec delivers and it's a beautiful strike to Juice Fennec for the touchdown and see what they can do split backs oh another pass throwing back in the end zone second interception by Fennec Maybe a little bit greedy by the glory there. All three have been all-stars before in the SFL. Look out, Sipes going long, and he's got himself a receiver behind the safety. Sipe is gonna drop back, knock his arm and fire, caught at the 10 and falling down to the eight. It's Grayson Willis with his second straight grab over the middle. And it didn't really work out that time. Now they go back to I formation. Maybe they try to do something with Jared Willis here. It's going to be another pass. Max protect. And he goes to the corner of the end zone. And this time, Caesar Ackerman hauls it in for six. And we have seen teams make the playoffs in six and six, Ramos. But this year, may I may... I, whoa, hold out. We'll finish that point later as Ike McBride... Rolls into enemy territory. Excellent blocking up front by the offensive line. And that's exactly what Sir Stuart Zomelia did on that last play. Because, man, that must have hurt because he took a lick to make that play. But he swatted the ball down. Kings looking for another drive like their last one, which ended in the touchdown. Sight steps up in the pocket. Throws. It's intercepted. He tried to force it into traffic. And Bo Martin Jr. made him pay for it. And now the Lone Star Glory in a position to take the lead. First and five and sliding backwards with the football. But you're likely going to just throw it just past the sticks. Maybe a, a, an out right here top of the screen or something. It's going to go just past the sticks. Did... Blue, keep his feet in bounds, and that's actually B. Robo, and yes, he did. A critical moment late in the first oh. quarter, and it's actually the fullback, Matteo Provato, who scampers in for the one-yard touchdown. Do it again, another slam to Harlman. Uh -oh. It's gonna go back corner, it's gonna be intercepted! Sipe threw up a jump ball, and Mickey McGuire jumped over the receiver and came down with it. Yeah, just just not smart football right there by the play caller. They have exploited it to excellent use in this game. Sipe, again, plenty of time in the pocket. Give a quick shout out to Olivia and Alden Bleeker and Brian French, uh, French, excuse me, holding down the offensive line. Third down and four. This has been a good opening drive to the second half for Jacksonville. Sipe, middle, finds one of those billion receivers wearing purple and gold out there. 17-14 our score, 8-19 to go in the third quarter. Sipe oh. has a dangerous pass into double coverage, but Arazaya Way comes down with it and bails out his quarterback, his second straight grab. Finally, just uh, opening up those weapons, second and two. Um... They may try to pass it again. So yeah, last time they threw an interception. Uh -oh. This time they go stretch play left. And Jared Willis finds his way to the house. They have converted on third down once already this drive to get out to this position on the field. Low snap, sight, pressure in his face, gets drilled as he lets it go and throws another interception. And this time the Glory have excellent field position of the Jacksonville 29. Forced Lone Star out of field goal range. They're flirting with the very edge of it right here. Fennec going deep over the middle. One-handed catch 
pulled in by Deuce Fedek. Unbelievable grab. I mean, it's uh, not bad coverage by Jacksonville. The safeties were spread a little bit too wide, but they converged middle of the field pretty quickly, and it's a great throw and an even better catch. You know, the execution was a little bit lacking. That would have been Troll's first SFL touchdown, continuing the string of first for Lone Star players today. Throwing and no. zone knocked away. And I'm, I, I can't believe that Ike McBride didn't touch the ball once in that sequence. Yeah. 19 yard field goal up and good by Matt Fennick. 21 to 20, Jacksonville holding on to the slimmest of leads. Look for another post here to Greg Soto. Speaking about a, a deep pass going to Soto, man. Deep post here. Second and 10 for the midfield stripe. It's a deep oh, cross, and it's it is a deep pass, but it's to B Robo. Benick three step drop in the middle. Soto diving grab. And it seems that the middle of the Jacksonville defense is just not ready. It is going to be a run. They spread out the Great defense, ball. and it's a red carpet of open grass leading straight to the end zone for Ike McBride. Yeah, those corners have been great all season long. Another third and long. Pump fake for Sipe. Mid off. Caught by Ellington into Lone Star territory. If you do get stopped in field goal range, depending on how much time is left, you, you might consider just kicking, taking the three points and seeing if your defense can get Lone Star off the field. Jared Willis wants to say, I'm going to get the ball in my own hands, spin three times, and find the end zone. What a ridiculous touchdown to give Jacksonville the lead. Wow. And that one, oh my God, 35 yards to the end zone. The best play by Jared Willis, not even close. Under 2.30, snap with 10 seconds on the play clock. There it is. Willis right through the middle. Excellent blocking up front by the offensive line. And Willis pushes the pile to midfield. Yeah, and that's the thing with it, with the, um, Penalty actually. Willis, oh, never mind. Willis, never mind. he's gone. He's going to race to the end zone to seal the deal for Jacksonville. Touchdown, Kings. Congratulations to him. All right, second down and six after the short pass. Fedek, pick up the middle again. And driving down to the 50 is Ziggy Ronick. That's his first catch of the game. What a time to pick it up. Fedek steps the line. Three step drop, throws short over the middle. Caught. Vernon Baker. Fennec looking long it's caught inside the 10 Lone Star uses its second time out and they are set up with first and goal 35 seconds to go needing a touchdown and a two point conversion to send us to overtime what a two minute drill by the glory unbelievable and, and they were balanced on that one. I mean, some slants and some posts and some corners. Robo goes down. They have one timeout. They don't use it. Fennec gets back to the line. 20 seconds to go. He takes the snap. He looks. He throws. It's a touchdown. They went wow. right back to Robo. And he scores. And here we go with a two-point conversion. 18 seconds left. The game on the line right here. Let's if see. Lone Star gets it, we likely go to overtime. If Jacksonville stops them, the Kings will win the game. Swing route to the tight end. Bennett, oh. handoff. It's the fullback, Mateo Provado, who scores. Kind of thing. So let's see what they do. Type goes deep. <laughs> Knocked away and intercepted. If not... No, uh, I think this is going to go to Ike, Mc, Ike McBride for sure, on the they, outside. They gain four yards. It is McBride on a stretch. Lowers the shoulder first down. Third and seven. They've gone four wide plus a tight end right. Fennec throws. Caught. Money. First down. Money. Lone Star to rip out the Jacksonville Hearts. The Kings were up eight with a minute to go. Ace Fennec engineered a masterful drive. It was a two-point conversion by Mateo Provado and that extra and a field goal good in overtime to win it from 35 yards away from Matt Fennec and Lone Star goes over 500.
They get to five and four on the season. They win an overtime thriller in the Sunshine State, 38 to 35.